The internet is canceling comedian Matt Reif. Matt Reif is being canceled for his Netflix special. Matt Reif is being canceled. People on the internet are trying to cancel Matt Reif. So they're doing their best right now to cancel Matt Reif. For this man right here, speed ran getting canceled and losing his entire audience intentionally. So Matt Reif's a comedian that's really blown up this year, mostly due to a lot of his clips going viral on TikTok and because there's a bunch of women that are obsessed with him. Kids? <laughs> Wait, are you Latina? Good luck. <laughs> oh my God. Can't have any kids dying alone. 100%. Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? But, uh, what, what is it about kids that you don't like? You're too young for kids. How old are you? 30. I don't know how much you remember about health class, but <laughs> you're almost too old for kids. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> There's more people in this room than you have eggs left. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> Sorry, Latina, huevos. I don't know how many huevos you have in there. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Clean Matt living. Rife? Huh? You know Matt Rife? Yeah, I know he Matt. He follows you. That's my buddy. Oh my god, I love him. Tell him I want to get with him too. <laughs> okay. Good lord. So I much. love Matt Rife. <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter. What do I got? Great comedian. Now recently, Matt Rife released a Netflix special called Natural Selection, and a lot of people, mostly his female fans, are pissed off of a joke that he made at the beginning. What? Yeah, you heard that right. People that went to go and watch a comedy show are pissed off at a joke. This was the joke. The hostess who like seats you at the restaurant had a black eye, and my boy who I was with was like, "Yeah, I feel bad for her, man. I feel like they should put her in the kitchen or something." You don't even have to be a fan of stand-up comedy, you just have to have a sense of humour and a bit of common sense to realise the guy's a comedian and he's making a joke. And comedians love to push the boundaries and say outrageous things. Go watch comedians in the 80s or 90s, go watch Frankie Boyle or Jimmy Carr. <laughs> And obviously, if the guy wasn't a comedian and he wasn't joking, it wouldn't be funny. Any man or woman that abuses someone else is a piece of shit, and I'd never encourage that, and Matt Rife wouldn't either. But it seems a bunch of his donut fans can't separate comedy and real life, and they're trying to cancel him. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Matt Rife is about to enter his F around and find out era. I wasn't sure what to watch yesterday, and I saw that Matt's special was in the top 10, and I've seen a couple of clips from his social media, and he seemed pretty funny. Let me tell you, I didn't last longer than three minutes. If this man thinks this opening joke is funny, I'm sure I'm not the first woman he's disappointed in less than three minutes. Literally, that would have been funnier than his opening joke. I doubt it. The fact that he justified being hit because you're not a good cook just makes me sick. But I'm surprised that the execs at Netflix even let this through and thought it was funny. I mean, are we surprised? I can kind of tell where a celebrity's career is gonna go, what kind of person they actually are, by looking at their fan base. Girls that I knew that were fans of him, they were all assholes. And I'm really not surprised that he's a piece of shit. Like, not only that, like, he looks like a douchebag, you guys. He looks like a piece of shit. When I saw Matt Rife, everybody was like, he's so hot. Dude, he's a piece of shit, and you can tell by looking at him. This is not going to end well. And look, he's a misogynist. Oh, oh what a big f***ing surprise. Yeah. Seems like Matt Rife is the only one laughing at that joke. One person in a row, y'all are so shocked that Matt Rife is a misogynistic asshole. All I'm saying is he wasn't funny on Wild and Out, and he is not funny now. Another person wrote, not Matt Reif building his platform on catering to his female audience and then opening his Netflix special with a DV joke. So I attempted to watch the Matt Reif special on Netflix. I made it maybe 15 minutes in and just had to call it quits. If you haven't seen it, you've probably heard about it. He opens the show with a joke about DV. And I was like, okay, odd, odd thing to start with not it just not objectively not funny like it's one of those things that i'm like i i get dark humor like i like that kind of stuff stop the cap okay i tried to watch the matt 
Rife special and it just felt so hateful of women. I couldn't even get past the first opening bit where he makes fun of all these women who he's sleeping with who like astrology. <laughs> I just wanted to say, Matt Rife, before you start punching down, like, for so long on these ladies who you're trying to be intimate with, that when women are talking about astrology, they're not talking about planets in the sky. We don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Now, after all these fans decided to announce to TikTok that they're going to rip down their Matt Rife posters off their walls, Matt Rife responded. I'm sorry, did you see Matt Rife's Instagram story? I'm never one to like throw my hat in the ring to like talk about celebrities in this way, but oh my god. I know there's a lot of buzz around his Netflix special. I haven't watched it yet. I was going to. But apparently there are a few jokes in there that people are getting offended by or upset about, and in response he posted this. If you've ever been offended by a joke I've told, here's a link to my official apology. And the link is to special needs helmets. I'm not making this up. This is still on his story. So basically, Matt Rife is standing on business and he's pissed them off even more. If he was upset that people were offended by his jokes, he could have just not said something. I feel like celebrities and comedians always make it worse when they try to double down or make a joke about people's offense. Did you see Matt Rife's response to the criticism he's getting? Because it's actually insane. Oh my God, it's just a joke. No, 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 no. Jokes are funny. There's no way. There's no way. In 2023? Are you kidding me? No way. And he has been through this before. I made a video about him a few months back. And he stood on business then as well. Flashback. Half right got, got cancelled on your podcast. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he just... I think it was just guys being guys. guys it was <laughs> locker room talk. Locker room mm. talk. And for the most part, people only know Matt from like one minute segments on yeah. TikTok. And if three and dudes... smoking hot. <laughs> you know what? It's good to be upset. I can't feel bad for everybody. I can't get upset. Yeah. People, because that's what people do online most of the time. Yep. And, and it's like, that's their entire personality is they go, let's it, cancel this. This is not okay. This is but, not okay. But, this is not okay. Your life yeah. sounds absolutely miserable. You're yeah. so worried about sounds all terrible. the wrong going on in the world. You're not even enjoying yourself. Look, Matt Reif even said himself about this Netflix special. He said, one thing that I wanted to tackle in this special was showing people that despite what you think about me online, I don't pander my career to women. I would argue this special is way more for guys. The women love that statement as well. But to admit that you don't like having female fans is not only misogynistic fucking stupid like you're fucking up your own business bitch now it all makes sense uh i like the rest of the world was so excited to turn this on and then turned it off within five minutes it was so bad and everybody's conclusion has been oh i guess i've only seen his crowd work and i've never seen his jokes but i felt like something else was going on it very much read like he was trying way too hard to be funny to men in girls, right? And they're crystals. It's just it's stupid, right? Okay, he has a predominantly female audience. He's saying this special is for the guys. Then why is he talking about women? Like if this special was really for the guys, why are you opening by, by you know, being derogatory to women? Is that the only way that you can bond with the guys? So Matt Rife is proof that men care way more about male approval than actual success. So, he had plastic surgery, he got his teeth done, he had this glow up, and after a couple of decades of trying, he was finally successful as a comic. He literally got millions for his Netflix special, but his core audience has always been women. And he's like, ick, girls aren't funny. So even though he had the money and the success because it was coming from women, he would much rather tank it in hopes of getting male approval than to actually enjoy it. When I was reading the statement about him saying it's more for the guys, it reminded me of the actors that don't want to be typecast anymore. I don't think he wants people to think that he's just a comedian for women. He wants to appeal to guys as much as he does to women, but the thing is, a lot of his fans are women. So him saying those types of jokes were always going to spark a reaction. Now, once again, I obviously don't find actual domestic abuse funny, and I'm sure Matt Rife doesn't either. I also I don't find it funny if someone's actually got special needs but if you can't separate jokes from a comedian in real life then you're a donut and you need Michael get some help